In the years to come, many industries will be transformed by quantum computers. These computers have the potential to become one of the most revolutionary technologies in history. They also come with the risk of shaking the security foundations of the IT systems we use every day. And this opens an entirely new field of research in the cryptographic community, one that's filled with challenges and opportunities. Post-quantum cryptography will play a critical role in ensuring safe and trusted security infrastructures. Preparations for this transformation have been ongoing for almost a decade. In 2016, the American Institute of Standards, better known as NIST, launched an international call for new quantum-resistant cryptographic algorithms. After eight years of worldwide research and evaluation, the NIST finalized the first set of post-quantum standards in August 2024. It is now time for the entire IT community to start integrating these new algorithms. Migrating to post-quantum cryptography poses significant challenges. These new algorithms are much more complex than the ones we currently use. Straightforward implementations are slower and use more memory than classic algorithms. On top of this, functionalities are not always identical between current and post-quantum cryptography. This means that migrating from one type of algorithm to the other requires redesigning existing protocols. When it comes to embedded cryptography, one of our priorities is to make the implementations of post-quantum algorithms resistant to side channel and fault injection attacks. The techniques used to secure classical algorithms against these physical attacks are not always suitable for post-quantum algorithms. New methods must be found, and this demands all our expertise. Beyond the complexity of migration, another significant challenge is the lack of maturity of these new post-quantum algorithms. It took nearly 20 years to reach a high level of confidence in the security of the crypto system we use every day. To ensure a secure transition, two complementary solutions have been identified. The first one is called hybrid cryptography. This approach consists of combining both traditional and post-quantum algorithms. This way, an attacker must break both components to succeed. The second one is called crypto agility. This ensures that if a post-quantum crypto system is compromised, it is possible to securely update cryptographic algorithms embedded in devices on the field. At Idemia Secure Transactions, we've been investigating post-quantum cryptography for nearly a decade. Our work includes research, but also practical implementations through several proofs of concept in the banking and mobile domains. Innovation at both hardware and software levels is crucial to ensuring that our implementations combine security and competitive performance. Today, we participate in funded projects on post-quantum cryptography we support several PhD students, regularly publish scientific papers, and also secure patents on this topic. We've even contributed to designing a new post-quantum signature algorithm that was submitted to the NIST NICE competition. We also participate in international standardization bodies, such as those led by NIST NICE and GSMA. IDEMIA's Secure Transactions is thus fully engaged in pushing post-quantum cryptography forward. In the near future, all sensitive projects and systems will have migrated to resist quantum computers. The journey won't be without its challenges. New attacks are likely to emerge and we'll need to continuously adapt our solutions. However, this evolution is essential for reaching maturity. We're living a key moment in the history of cryptography, one that presents a unique opportunity to strengthen the security of the entire ecosystem.